my name is Natalia Anderson and I am here to bring you my top 20, as promised, my top 20 Eurovision songs. In this video I'm going to be looking at number 20 to number 11. So, starting with number 20. When I first heard this song, I thought it was going to start off and be quite boring, I thought it was going to be a ballad and then they just switched it up when the chorus came in and I still have that feeling that that song gave me. So I've put it here at number 20, great vocals, great melody and really danceable. My number 19 is such a beautiful song and really well delivered. This singer has got such a beautiful tone. It reminds me of like a musical theatre voice and I love those kinds of voices. So clear, so emotive. This song does it for me in that sort of musical theatre vibe, okay? It's the United Kingdom! <laughs> <laughs> you guys who've known, seen my reaction videos will know what I'm talking about. This song is, for me, a celebration of the male form and I'm here for it. And it's a great pop song as well. I do really enjoy that pop song. Let's so break it beautiful, baby I just can't go on. This is a song I just really love the chorus. It's a beautiful chorus, really strong. I love singing along to this uh, chorus. The revamp really worked for this song as well. And yeah, I absolutely love it. We got Everybody. to love. Now I will never let you go. All the ones will make me fold. It is never easy. I'll follow you up hello. In at number 16 is a song that just really gives me joy. It really gives me so much joy. I feel like after listening to this song, I feel like I can face the world, I could do anything, I just need to keep going, right? And the singer delivers this song with pure vocals, really, really lovely, lovely voice. I actually can't wait to hear this song live. I think he's gonna sound amazing. And yeah, here it is. I won't stop, I won't stop, no, no. Hey, now, if you push me down, I'll get up again. Hey, now, if you let me drown, I'll swim like a champion. I'm sure there'll be good times, there'll be bad times, but I don't care. Cause I'm running on it. I always knew this song would be up there for me the first time I heard it. I absolutely love it. I love the singer. She has got so much fierceness. She is here to slay and she's giving me life every time. Love the melody, love the tune, love the choreo. People, I'm loving Latvia. Loving it. And the doors wide open. Boy, I'm still in this music video. Absolutely. Get the poise. Also, really love the name Triana Park because it reminds me. <laughs> it reminds me of like a Jamaican saying three is tree. 
Triana Pat. As for my number 14 song, this song actually, when I first heard it, I was like, okay, alright. The more I listen to this song, the more I absolutely love this tune. And I am now looking for a man, okay, looking for a male who can sing and who's got a great upper register and will join me in doing this song at karaoke because I absolutely love this song. I really want to sing it karaoke. I need a duet, I need a singing partner. It's Koitome Ya Laura. Lost in the crowd of the street We are lost Like two sailing boats in the sea We are lost Cause sometimes we're building and burning down your My goodness, I need to do that karaoke. Someone, someone, reveal yourself, man, who can sing that part. Reveal yourself to me. Moving on to my next song. What number are we on? Uh, 13. When I first heard this song, I wasn't quite sure where they were going with the chorus. Now the chorus is so big. I really love the chorus. I love the production on this. I love the delivery. This is going to be a song that I'm going to be really looking forward to on the night. Love listening to it. Could have easily been in my top 10 this tune, uh, but it's here at number 13. <laughs> I don't know why, it's so hard! You guys making me do this! God! This song, the rhythm, I'm just thinking about it. The beat, uh, yeah, love it. Here it is. Let me be your heart and your company I let you be the one who can lean on me I catch you when you're falling, you're falling free Let me be in your gravity Let me be your wings while you're flying high I'm gonna ride you up till you touch the sky I catch you when you're falling, you're falling free Let me be, be in your gravity Attach me inseparably Like gravity Guys, uh, what number are we on? That 40, no, 12. My number 12, okay, might be a shock to some of you, and internet, please do not come for me. Please do not come for me. What I'm saying is, it's just a matter of taste, it's just a matter of opinion. I know everyone loves this song, and it's great. I really like this song. It's just that there's like 11 other songs that are doing it for me. Brilliant melody really well delivered. This guy is so charismatic. He's got a gorgeous smile and I know watching him is going to be super awesome. Uh, there's just one little thing I have to say about this song. Just a little, little thing. It's about the music video. If I'm going to be honest with you guys, let me be honest with you. I feel a little bit uncomfortable with the music video. Just in that Okay, let me just tell you what the song is. You probably already have guessed it. It's Italy. The issue that I have with the video is that the song is about Westerners' karma. It's about Westerners taking on Eastern philosophies and not really uh, truly living it out and living sort of um, lives that are in contrast. Uh, which is a great message, it's really good, but in the video, he's only gone and put himself in a place which could be like an Eastern temple, for all we know. And he's wearing uh, the costume of, of like a monk, or for all we know. And then he's flicking through a book, which could be a holy book, and you see images of Buddha, and that sort of thing. That's the issue that I have. Like, if you're gonna be talking about Westerners using Eastern philosophies, and religions, why not set it in the West? And then he has this, uh, the ape coming in, and if they're in a temple, and then this ape is dancing, it just, oh, it just makes me cringe a bit, like, oh, why did he do that? It just feels a bit disrespectful. For me, personally, a better video for him would have been to set it in like a yoga studio somewhere in Italy and then sing the song, have people doing yoga and then when the ape comes out you see like people in the yoga studio doing like really funny moves, they think it's yoga but it's really big reveal, the ape at the front doing all the apey dancing moves and then everyone dances in the end. 
that to me would have been a better video. from Georgia would say, keep the ape, keep the ape. <laughs> okay, it was probably not as funny as it was in my head that time. Right, this is my number 11, and this song has been in and out, in and out of my top 10. I have to say, it's really, it's been really, really hard where to place this, because I absolutely love this song. For me, it's one of my favorite, favorite music videos of all the competition like they freaking nailed it on the visuals but when i've put together the visuals and the song i feel like the song just lets it down not lets it down but because of the lack of a strong chorus right at the beginning that first chorus i think should have been a big hit a big like hook to get us in there and what happens is it happens later on in the song um it just the song builds and it's amazing but just because of that first chorus, I feel like I, yeah, I feel like I've had to move it out of the top 10. Nevertheless, I still absolutely love this song and the visuals for me are probably just the best of the entire competition. It's all of that stuff. Look how strong are my arms. You've got to have strong arms to be doing this. You know, not weak floppy arms. Uh, uh, and uh, God, the video, honestly, have a look. Tell she took it all into her space. Hear the sound. 